Brighton have a double target this season to stay in the championship and make progress on their new stadium. Saturday, 3 p.m. Mark McGee's side faced Preston looking for their first championship win. But at this club, only one result really matters. And Brighton's fans are on the pitch. It's another protest against the controversial... It was a club in turmoil. The board had sold the Goldstone ground to pay off debts. For two seasons, Brighton were homeless. They were trading out of a skip initially. I mean, that's what we were looking at. I mean, they had no, no equipment, no supplies, nothing. They had no premises in Brighton at all. And so they literally had to start the business from scratch. Well, I actually took over as chairman the very last game of the, at, the, at the old ground, the Goldstone ground. And, uh, and then we inherited the situation where we were going to play at Gillingham for two years. So the first task was to get the club back to Brighton. Their new home was a town centre office. Their home ground was the local athletics track. And the task of trying to take Brighton out of the old third division was Mickey Adams. In my opinion, Mickey Adams is the best manager that this club has ever had. And I've been, I've been watching the Albion since I was seven. Certainly the best manager that I've ever seen. I think given the restrictions, the team he put together, many of which are still the backbone of the team we've got now, I mean, not only a fantastic manager, but also a really nice bloke who really appreciated everything that we had done, the battles that we had made to keep this club going. For the last five years, the club struggled to survive on gates of less than 7,000. On a site on the outskirts of Brighton, they've already spent millions of pounds seeking planning consent for a new 22,000-seater stadium. Three million pounds is the cost of this planning application and the public inquiry. That's a huge sum of money for a premiership club. For a club, for a club like this, it's, a, it's an unbelievable sum of money. Twice they've climbed out of the lower divisions, but the club's uncertain futures cost them a manager more than once. Their current boss thinks players, some of whom were with the club in the third division, could go the same way. The worry for me is that these young players don't want to keep playing here. You know, they make the best of it just now and they do their best, but they, they want to play at you know, places like Leicester and you know, even in this division, the Medeski Stadium, Molyneux, Ellen Road, you know, these young players are going to have the ability to go and play there. And therefore we're going to get, have, have a great, great difficulty keeping these young players without a stadium. The score on Southern FM. We've got breaking news. John Prescott's decision on Falmer, no decision. He's ordered another public inquiry into the Albion's new stadium. If the government doesn't give us the approval for our stadium, then the future of this club, I mean, at this level of football, is impossible to continue. On Saturday, in what was Craig Brown's last game as Preston manager, Marlon Broom's own goal finally gave Brighton fans a victory to celebrate. Where we're playing now, in the championship is, is beyond our wildest dreams. But we have every right to be here. We've got here through playing good football. We've earned the right. We just need the stadium to be able to take things on. That's right. I mean, whatever happens this season on the pitch, and obviously we want to stay up, we want to play as well as possible, the most important result is going to come off the pitch. Three valuable points in their fight for championship survival. But a far more crucial battle lies ahead. So Brighton fans arrive at this magnificent Walker's Stadium hoping that one day they pray they can build something similar. Well, it's absolutely enormous. We have to have the new stadium for the future, for the future of our club. Um, if we don't get the grounds, that's it. We're not going anywhere. It's all important, really. It's the only thing that's important this season. Even staying up's not as important. Because I, I bring my kids to the games and we can't get them in at with Dean because there's just not enough seats. So we, we desperately need that stadium. Obviously very important. Now we're promoted to... Division One or Champions League, as you want to call it, we got we can't survive at with Dean with 5,000 people. So with the big crowds now, we definitely need the new stadium. And fingers crossed, hopefully we'll get it soon. 